Leighton Welford for John Boy Walton. Two of the best known faces in all of darts, but tonight one of them has to go. Your commentators are the three times Lakeside semi-finalist Tony O'Shea and the lesser sportsman David Croft. But I'm working on it. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses to John Boy Walton and to Martin Adams, who have given us a great spectacle on many an occasion. But who is the more focused tonight? for a place in the quarterfinals. Tony, I'm so glad you're alongside me in this commentary box. I wouldn't want you to miss what could be a real corker. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Real work starts now, setting round, they're off and running. They've got the first uh, nervous game out of the way. They'll both be really buzzing for this tonight. And you couldn't get more nervous at times than Martin Adams losing the first five legs against Tony West. Whereas John Boy Walton, typical Walton display, wasn't it? Well, yeah, but going back to Martin there, Tony was superb in them, them early legs. That might have just sharpened him up enough to move on from there. John Boy didn't have a, as good as average, but um, Thank you, you just never know gentlemen. these two. First set, first leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on! We started off with three former champions in this Lakeside Men's World Championship for 2011. By the end of this match, only one former champion will be left in it. But who is it to be? Martin Adams or John Boy Walton, who after a combined total of 77 matches on this famous stage, play each other for the very first time. Amazing statistic, that really. <laughs> I had to get Richard Ash down, our stats man, up in the commentary box to count and recount and then count again because I couldn't believe it 77 matches and they'd never come up against each other Eighty five. what Adams can't afford to do is to miss the amount of doubles he missed in the early stages against Tony West but he has got that luxury now we're First to four 17. sets. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't sound a lot, but that extra set just makes all the difference. He still had quite a good average, though. Even even them missed doubles early on against Tony. He still had a 92 plus average. He did 92.5 for Martin Adams, who 97 missed 22 of his attempts at doubles. There you can see the tournament average so far. It's it's a Huge golf, isn't it, between the two players? 55. Shows how well Martin scored there with all the missed doubles and he's still, still averaging 92 ish. Is John Boy Walton capable of a 90 average? Is that what he needs to, to beat Adams tonight? Well, 90 is not enough, it's got to be mid, mid to high 90s. But John can do that if he hits his doubles, John, John's well capable of doing it.
133. John Yiriquois, 160. Well, nice scoring for Martin Adams, but it's John Boy Walton with the first chance here. And another one of those treble twenties will do very nicely. For double top, what a way to start the match. Oh, 120. Only just. Martin Yiriquois, 58. But Adams might steam in with a double top of his own. Double ten. There Bang you go. Shot. And the first leg. Martin Adams. Second well, leg well. is John to throw first. Game on. I think John Boy Walton knew that if he gets a chance, he might need to take it. One to thrice, Tony. But uh, that first leg has shown him just what he's 45. up against. Well, you can get away with missing doubles in the early round. That's to this stage. When them little chances do come along, you've got to take them, whether it's a 32 out or a 160 out, like John almost did then. And it was nothing much wrong with the dart at the double. No, he didn't pull or snatch, no, it was, it was a good dart, just uh, a bit too much weight on it, I think. He is one of these players, 81. John Boy Walton, who still has an A game in him. We don't see it all the time, but it can spring up out of nowhere. Looking back in his form in, in recent years. And John Boy Walton, he's hit three nine darters in the last four years. At the Masters, which we saw, the BBC TV cameras in the Antwerp Open in 2009 and at the Six Nations Cup this year, which... Would have been I was there, I watched, I watched the game, yeah. And is it true he had three practice darts, stepped up to the stage and hit a nine darter? <laughs> 140. He needs to think back what his, uh, his regime was that day. Three nine darters in four years. One hundred and not a bad effort, and neither was that. Both in and switching down to treble nineteen to leave double twelve. Brilliant dart. John Uriquois, 95. So good even the missus is smiling. Single 20 now for John Boy Walton. Leaves him bullseye once again. He's only got one dart to seal the leg before Adam steps in. Game shot. And I tell you and the what. Second leg. John Walton. That's John Boy Walton with championship winning form. Third leg is Martin to throw first. Game on. And if you look there at the first dart that he threw, was blocking that ball. How did he squeeze that one in? He didn't even move, I don't think, neither. 100. Oh, he's got his eye in, his bull's eye in. He's got his mean face on, hasn't he? Like he really means business 85. out there tonight. Well, I think uh, I was talking to him early on in the practice room. I think he was a bit annoyed somebody's wrote his chances off totally for tonight's game. Maybe that's fired him up a bit. Wow! 180! <laughs> First maximum of the match goes to Martin. You shouldn't write off John Boy Walton at all, but... He is up against the number one seed, the defending champion. And also one of his best mates in the sport. Yeah, they won some titles between 100. them. <laughs> Look at that, first start really was covering that ball, wasn't it? Perfect. Splendid shot. Yeah, they've won Martin the Scottish Lequois, Open as a pairs, Europe Cup as pairs as well, these two, but it's man against man tonight. Fifty-seven. Eighty-five. Martin that should have been more, really, 64. after the opening dart. So Adams to hold his throat. Another one of those. A double 16. 
Kane shot. That'll do very nicely and indeed. Martin Adams. And it's quite clear that Martin Adams is a bit more confident on these doubles than he was in the Four opening players. stages of his Drop first round match. First. Game on. He doesn't normally mess about with doubles. Obviously, uh, he means business tonight. 55. That loose dart John's had have all gone to the left to the five, haven't they? So, so it could be worse, but it needs some straight ones like these. Bags of room for Adams. 140. Too much room. <laughs> Maybe Walter could get one. 180! Oh, yes, he can. <laughs> 90. And this is the sort of game you want to be in, don't you, Tony? If your opponent's playing well, if you're playing well. It drags you into, it drags you into the game. It makes, it makes you have to play better. 58. Do you start to smile at any stage to enjoy the moment? I think you do enjoy it when you're both playing well. It gives the game a real good rhythm. I mean, John's average is, is around 20 up from his last match. That's how well he's playing already. 100. Yeah, still in this first set, but if these two keep up this rate of scoring and finishing, we'll be purring like a host of Cheshire cats. 60. Come on, John, Marcus. One hundred. Well, they couldn't keep the walls from the door. Please, no whistling while the players are throwing. Thank you. John, you require 148. I can't believe somebody was whistling at John Boy Walton. <laughs> It's a first for everything. <laughs> 110 left. 58. Didn't really pressure Martin, you require 71. the throw. So can Adams put in a break here and take the set? That is lovely. Do you know what? Game That's quite shot. nice as well. Top and job finishing again from Adams there. Martin Adams! No time to throw in the towel as Martin Adams gets the howl. Second of set, approval first leg, it's John from his legion of wolves. Game on. He's not actually done a lot wrong that set, John Boyle. Well, he's been beaten by some clinical finishing. 95. Well, you could say he shouldn't have missed the 160 after getting the first two treble 20s, but that would be being a little harsh. One hundred and forty. You know, but it was a set that John uh, that, uh, Martin Adams started, so it's only gone with throw so far, yeah. really. One hundred and thirty-four. Martin Adams, eighteenth consecutive Lakeside Championship. Another ten. And they'll equal John Lowe's record of 28 World Championships in a row. He will be 64 at that stage, though. I think he should have uh, been retired long by then. <laughs> Give the rest of us a chance. I was going to say. <laughs> 85. I bet you wish he retired four years ago. And the rest. <laughs> 95. For John Boy, this is 12th Lakeside. 125. 137. Well, nice cover shot, but he won't want to go straight for the bullseye, I would imagine. Even though he can hit it, we've seen him hit it already. 100. John, you require 50. Double 16. Look at the focus on that face. 18. 
Martin Uruqua, 93. Well, Adams is going to get a dart at a double, you fancy. Walton twice missed, double 16. Oh dear. 77. Too high. John Uruqua, He needs to 32. take this, Tony, doesn't he? Well, it's, it's his darts this set. Break this early really hurt him. Is that tricky for him, that angle? Well, he's moved, he's moved right across to the right for this one. No score. Martin, you require 16. He's hit it once, but he didn't want it. And he needed it. He couldn't find it. Double four. That'll do Game it. Shot. That and will the do, lane. though. Break a throw. Martin Adams. For Martin Adams. Second leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. Was that the look on Martin Adams' face of a man who felt that was rather important, that double four? Well, every break's uh, an important break, but it's early in the game, he's botching the game. He feels now he needs to uh, kick on now. I, th I, th I think he's feeling pretty comfortable. When I mean, you've played your busy mate on this stage before, Daryl Fitton. Which I think you, know, you said at the time was one of your hardest matches you've ever had to play. Uh, well, I can imagine a tougher one to be honest. Uh, I don't want to do it again, put it that way, <laughs> unless it's in a final. <laughs> 100. Oh, plenty of faces in the crowd. <laughs> Chizzy, Robbie, Wolfie, Bobby, and that man Murray. 60. And I've no idea who the one in the middle is by Bob Potter. Mate of yours, Tony? I was looking around at Richard then, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Little Richard. <laughs> I say, just because the sign was only two foot three, it doesn't mean it's a life-size replica of our... That's actually been blown man. up. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't 99. know our statistician, he's the smallest man in darts with the biggest knowledge. Hundred. Morton's a long way back here. Could really do with a maximum at this time. 81. Martin, you require 100. And it's left of a finish if Adams bucks this one up. But it's a big one. That came back with so much 39. force that front row was ducking. <laughs> John, you require 161. Some wayward darts creeping in, Tony. Yeah, that, that first set, he was, he was on the ball. 120. The pressure's getting to him. Martin, you require 62. Martin has been pretty relentless with his finishing. Double eight, then. 46. John, you require 36. And on that occasion, no relentlessness. Game shot. But a relief in the step. John Walton. Well, that might just do John Boy Walton the world of good, that. Third leg, it's John to throw first. Game on. Finally a lucky break for him. That's the first bit he's had. Like I said, the uh, 160 finish was a bit of bad luck there. He's having to work on everything he's getting. No pain, no gain, though. There's nothing wrong with having to work for it, 16. is there, really? Well, he's been there, he's done it, he's got the T-shirt, he knows what it's all about. Fifty-five. Mentioned John Boy's prowess with the nine darters. Martin's hit two in competition over the years. 140. In the Norway Open, 96, and the British Open a year later. Been waiting a while for a nine darter since then. 136. There's the defending champion.
100. John, you require 170. Biggest finish on the board. Too big for John Boy. Sixty. Eighty five. John, you were half expected Adams to put in a big score there and put a lot of pressure on Walson, but it didn't come. Way that first dart's gone in. Yeah, treble eighteen would have been a better option. But Adams for 116, a nice Martin, one, this. You require 116. Yeah. Trouble 21st. 21st. Gone for tops. 76. He doesn't like double top, though. John, you require 67. I'm surprised he didn't put in another 20 for double 18. Double 18. Double 8 for Walton, though. Holds his throw. Oh, shot. And the third leg. John Walton. Fourth leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. This might just turn into some edgier seat stuff, this. 100. Because Adam's not getting away. Fifty-five. You're right, Tony, about embossing moments in the leg. John Boy Walton here yeah, with a lesser average, but only needs one leg 100. to square it all up. And then <laughs> all that means nothing. Do you focus on averages as players? Averages don't win matches. 140. Big scores do, though. Big finishes do. You've got to get down to a finish first. And Adams is down to a finish now. 180. Martin, you Lovely. 180. How many times, though, have we seen Adams throwing for a 1-2-1? One, the finish he leaves himself so often. 45. I think, it, I think it was in the Masters. I think he killed it about three different ways as well, didn't he? He's, he's got plan B. But I think it comes, the 1 2 1, the 1 4 1, comes from military steady big scoring. Consistent scoring on the Martin 20s, yeah. 76. Like that. To square up this set then. Double eight. Sixty. We can level it up here. This one. Eighty. He's had a little bit of luck, but he needs eighty now. Tops to level the set, John. Sixty. Yep, it did. And it ducked. 16. And not ducking the challenge. Adam steps up. Double Game eight shot. straight in. And the fourth man. Martin Adams. Something for Wilson to think about it's there. John to throw first. Game on. He was just getting on a little roll then, John. But he has the darts. Eight. And should have made better use of them. Plenty of room. I think the second dart for that, that shot at the 80 there was just a bit too high. It was pretty close to the tops. So where, where is the best place to try and aim for there? Because you don't want to hit the treble 20, do you? No, and, and you don't want to go above. <laughs> Obviously, the first dart was a good dive, just a, a touch high. 135. I suppose if you can, you want to aim to one of the top corners of the fat 20, don't you? And John does flow... Uh, a flat dart, so that there wouldn't have been a wouldn't have been a problem with the, the flight being in the way. So he had plenty of room.
90. So Adams with 22 on his last visit. Trying to make amends now. 100. Well, there's that flat arc that you were talking about. Yeah, he never blocks a uh, second dart for a kill like that. Somebody like myself, they go into an angle and I have to move left or right. That what keeps you so fit. 131. <laughs> 60. Always notice Wolfie Johnny on his Ricard. toes 60. as he releases his last dart as well, but on his toes now, steaming in. Flat, double top. Game <laughs> shot. And the second set. John Walton. And that will do John Boy Walton. Levels it up nicely. Scotty Mitchell out of the tournament, but appreciating what Walton's doing. Third set, first leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. So one set apiece then. 100. And absolutely nothing now to choose between them, Tony. I know averages don't win matches, but they tell a great tale. Well, before you see that there, you think, well, Martin should be a lot better the way the game's gone. John's been struggling, 100. but he's back in it. The last few legs got him right back in the game. It's all down to a few missed doubles or a few good checkouts here or there, isn't mm -hmm. it? 100. You know, Adams at times has just missed a lot of doubles in one particular leg. Five out of 13. It's a slightly better percentage than his first round match at the moment. 60. Walton, pretty much on a par with his checkout performance. But he will need to improve that if he's going to get through this game. Yeah, Walter missed a, a hatful, didn't he, against Davy Prince. 14 darts to win the match yeah. before he finally sealed it. 99. Not happy with that, Martin. I think he's blocked it. 99. He throws at quite an angle across, doesn't he? Martin, you require 107. Well, that's perfect for him. Single 15 to leave double 16. 75. Well, just the odd one John starting to miss. 142. Continuing to miss for Adams. 92. Martin, you require 32. Well, he set it up. As Martin Adams now, he's got to take it out. Game and take shot. it out, he does. And the first leg, Martin Adams. Second leg, it's John Favourite to double first. coming Game to on. his rescue again. Do you notice, Walton, there's no flicker of emotion on his face as Adams closes out a leg. 140. Yeah, pretty concentrated. Is that trying to stay in the zone? It's a longer game tonight, so he's thinking ahead. I'm pretty sure John's still confident of, of winning the game. One. He's not getting carried away. Sometimes you can lose your focus. A lot of a lot of the players they like jumping around. I used to do it myself quite a bit, but I've tried calming down a bit. A lot of players need it though. Eight. Well, we're all different now. But, uh, some, sometimes you needed it. You know that that celebration that let out the aggression. It must be an age thing because just <laughs> lately I seem to lose concentration when I do it. I've tried to calm down a bit. 100. We're cooking up a right old treat here tonight. No Muppets up on the stage though. 140. You and John Boy Walton are the same age as well, Tony O'Shea. Um, a couple of months difference, I think, yeah. 
doing the stats. You've, you've played exactly the same amount of matches on this stage as John Boy has as well. I must have won more than him because uh, he's been here at least a year more than me. I've caught him up. Oh dear. Thirty-four. That's a bit of a slip up at this stage in a leg. So even if Adams doesn't now take out this one six one, which he can't. You know, Wharton's under pressure to finish from 102. 60. John, you require 102. Well, he started this leg, he really needs to finish it as well. It's the worst dart in the world he could have thrown. It's the only one that means he can't finish. Exactly. <laughs> 38. Six scrappy darts Martin, he's thrown there. 101. And will he be made to pay? Adams to break the throw. And he turns for the one check out. And the second leg. Martin Adams. A sign of a champion that day. Oh, yes. Third leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. Only got himself to blame, John Boy, though. As you said, six uh, sloppy darts. One hundred and forty. It's Martin Adams' highest checkout of the tournament so far. That one hundred and one. Ninety-five. I dare say we'll uh, see him go for a one seventy or something akin to that between now and the uh, end of the week. One hundred and forty. Took out a one seventy in the final last year, didn't he? There's somebody in the back room. Hope he doesn't, Mr. Robson. <laughs> he's not spent 60. the three grand for the highest finish already, is he? I think he spent more than that, to be honest. <laughs> Ninety-five. All eyes. Up on the stage. Fifty-five. Not been a good Martin set, really. This for John Boy Wall might end here. Another nineteen would leave the bullseye. Here it is. Surprised you went for that. He had uh, quite a cushion there. But why wouldn't he? Well, John wants nearly 300. I, I thought he'd have gone the 20s uh, for the first out, really. But I know it 60. sounds obvious. If Martin, you set you the finish up, well, why not go straight for it? Well, as it happens, it's worked anyway. Game and set. Anderson, he's got the set. And the third set. Quite an easy Martin set for Martin, that, to be honest. Easier than I think he would have thought going into it. Always nice to get one of Four those set. out of the way. First leg, it's John to throw first. Game on. So Walter once again finds himself a set down, but it is still going with throw. 85. And there you can see, I'd, I thought that Walter had just slacked off a bit in that last set. It was, uh, it was poor, wasn't it, for him? But Martin Adams slacked off in the second set. Who says we won't get a repeat 100. here? <laughs> Just to go back to that finishing, Tony, you know, you set things up for the ball and some players will go for it and some will, you know, then stop themselves. You still, you, you're, you're aiming at a double, you've got a big cushion. You might as well just go with a momentum, surely. I mean, with that many left, I'd always try and leave 32 no matter what, what I wanted. Um, he had the shot of the ball, as it happened, he took it out anyway, but if you split the ball, you've got two, two darts at a double. Luckily, he had a big lead anyway. So you would have, on 126, not gone, gone treble, treble 20. Nine, yeah, not gone treble 19 with the first dart. With such a lead in that leg. Maybe that's why he's the world champion, I'm not. <laughs> 60. Did you think, go back five years, that Martin Adams would have won three World Masters, two World Championships? I think he always had them in him. 
for some reason it wasn't his time but the way he's played the last three or four years he's been superb and he never looks like he's struggling to be honest well, he's not struggling here is he at all perfect and a great time to do it because now Johnny all Cross, the pressure 76. on Walton with his 76. He's only going to get one dart and a double here. Double top. Doesn't Game let him down, shot. is it? And the first leg to Walton. Second leg is Martin to throw first. Game on. When we talk about the high standard of darts, there's six darts there that, that beautifully encapsulates what these guys can do. And that's under the pressure of being at the late side. We see better than this every weekend around the world on the tour events. To do it under this pressure is amazing. 140. Is it just knowing that behind you there are 1,500 pairs of eyes? Fear of failure. <laughs> yeah. A millions watching back home on TV as well. 125. Because you never know what's going on behind your back, do you, when you're playing darts? Are you telling me they pull faces at us? A couple of times. <laughs> 95. Yeah. He's done it again, hasn't he? At just the right time. This time, though, it's side of the leg. And well, he's got to be careful here because 100 isn't good enough for a finish. Is he counting? Yes, he is. 130. Martin, you require 96. Good, good reply from him as well. But it might be to no avail at all. Lovely marker. In. Game shot. And the second leg. Martin Adams. Well, 100. 180, 125 in there, 96, Game lovely. What a, what a leg of darts for Martin Adams. Appreciated by John as well, though, the little nod. 140. We might get another 180 here. And we have. Oh. What's that about raising each other's game? <laughs> 85. <laughs> 100. Well, 180, 100. For Martin Adams. Didn't start the leg. Still John Boy. Trails. 90. Boy, did he need that. <laughs> oh. Hugs and kisses. Trebles and misses. And howls and hisses to come. 140. This is the second classy leg of darts for Martin Adams on the trot here. Yeah, he's warming One up. His average is proving 100. that he's up near the 100 now. Martin, you require 81. Could be an 11 dart leg. Won't be now. And after all the good work, 41. doesn't put himself on a double. John, you require 86. Well, these are yours, darts, John. Trouble 18 first. You'll have to go 18 ball now. Double seven. Martin sat on 40. Game Perfect shot. Guy, and the third leg, John Walton. Fourth leg wow. is Martin to throw first. Game on. He is doing his best here, John Walton. Martin Adams at times looking like there's been more stuffing knocked out of him than Sharon's Christmas turkey. 135. She looks like she's had 
A little bit of the stuffing knocked out of her at times as well because it is always agony for Sharon Adams, whatever the match she's watching. Feel sorry for the girls, they go through it, don't they? 140. I said it before, we've got the easy bit just standing up there throwing darts. They met Martin and Sharon years ago. I think it was at a wedding reception. There's Sally Walton. Martin was helping out his brother, who was the DJ. They got together, they've been married ever since. But I bet there are times when Sharon wishes that this man was spinning discs rather than throwing darts. One hundred and forty. Not many DJs get hundred grand for a week's work, though, do they? <laughs> well, not unless they're in Ibiza. <laughs> I tell you, what, it feels like Ibiza in here tonight. It is warm, man. Sixty. Well, the combined age of one hundred and three up on the stage. I wonder if they'll start to feel the heat as well. They might feel the heat. Martin Adams from a one six seven against him. Oh, unlucky. Where's he go now, Tony? 79 scored, back up the treble 20, that'll do it. 139. Martin, you require 118. To save the set, Martin Adams now. Wants double top. 98. There you go, John Boy. John, you require 28. for the set, double 14, awkward, very awkward. 2 no awkward. Martin, you require oh, 20. Big, big darts, those. Could have been worse for Adams, he's now needing, needing double four. Terrible twos. 18. Awful. Awful moment for him. Because he was right there or thereabouts, but Walton has a let off. Mr. Adams doesn't normally give you chances like this. He's cleaned his glasses. Yeah. And it's worked. Shot. And the fourth set. John Walton. There's a few betting slips on the floor, Dave. Yeah, There's think... a lot of people who didn't think he'd get two. Fifth set, first leg, it's Martin to She wasn't first. one of them. Game on. I have to say neither was I. I. I really thought John Boy Walton would raise his game for this. And raise his game he has. I did say early on, if, if he hits his doubles, he, he's got a chance. He's a great player. And here's part of the tale of the match here. Beforehand, set one, set three, John Boy Walton was, was way behind, he was completely out of it. But look at that, set four, he still won it, even though Martin Adams had a better average, and they both scored over 100 every three darts. It's exceptional quality. Well, like we say, with an average like that, he still didn't win the, uh, the set, did he? <laughs> I think what his average might have been in that set four, and he not have missed all those darts of the double to take the fourth leg. Two 180s now, though, for Walton. Five 180s so far for Martin Adams. It is warming up nicely, Dave. 100. And a great acknowledgement from the crowd for John Boy as he went back. It's almost as if these two are 55. as relaxed as they ever could be up there. 2 old stages. Giving us a treat for the new year. 140. John, you require 145. 145. Little shake of the head there, but there wasn't much wrong with that first start. Millimetre. Fifty-three. Martin, you require 81. Yeah. 
One more dart. 69. One more. John, you require 92. And this to move ahead in the match here for the first time. And a single 17 will give him that big red button right in the middle. Oh dear. 51. Martin, you require 12. Game shot and the first leg. Martin Adams. It was another chance, Tony, wasn't it? A bit too friendly at times. They're giving each other plenty of chances, aren't they? Second leg, it's John to throw first. Yeah. Game on. Well, that was for Walton to move ahead for the first time in the match. And just like it was in the first leg, he... 45. When he missed on that 160, he couldn't take advantage. Fantastic gripping and thrawling match this. Which I think will be played to its conclusion on your red button and maybe on that red button as well. For interactive TV viewers, the coverage will continue One after 8 o'clock. And you really wouldn't want to miss any of those whatsoever. Maximums and madness down here at the lakeside. Well, they're all going potty for their darts. 81. Be a sin to turn away, wouldn't it, Tony? One hundred. Now, another maximum. 140. Settled for a 12th 140. I think it crossed his mind then to go for big 20. Best in that situation to stay away from it, just <laughs> in case. Have you ever bust on 180? Has Not it ever happened to you? No, no, no. 105. John, you require 40. You've had a few on double top before, O'Shea. Game and shot. Walton's had a few on second leg. Good timing. John Walton. Third leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. Absolutely nothing to separate these two at all. One. It's interesting, last year... Martin Adams was in the bottom half of the draw, and, and he had, with due respect to his beaten opponents, a fairly easy route through yeah. to the semi-finals. A lot of the seeds went out early doors, didn't 140. they? 140! But this year, as number one seed in the top half of the draw, even with your absence now in that top half, Tony, it, it's still... he's going to come up against tougher matches. I mean, obviously, as players, when we, when we start a tournament, we don't want to pick too early, but when you keep getting opponents like... I mean, John Walton for a second-round game... It, it's not an easy game, is it? But you, you try and build up the momentum of your performances. 47. But you shouldn't get an easy game. World Championship after all. Although this man did have one of the easiest games I've ever seen at the 85. lakeside. A couple of years ago when he played Tony Fleet from Australia. Last man standing one. 85. He was the only one standing one. <laughs> now that year, Tony Fleet, he's a lovely fella. He actually, he actually qualified for the late side with only five sets of ranking points. Really? That's All from his Australian tournament? Because of the tournaments he went to, yeah. And he had a good result at the World Cup that year as well. He got to the semis of the quarters, I think. 139. I think the World Cup was in Perth. Martin, think, you that year. Was, was that the Denmark World Cup? By the way, double top for Adams. It's not his favourite double, but that will do nicely. Shot. And the third leg, Martin Adams. Finally, the fourth Wolves leg. get it's going. to throw first. Game on. I'm not sure there's a, a huge favourite in the crowd for either of these two. 140. No, both popular guys. I mean, anyone who gets up there and gives 100%, the crowd will love it anyway. 140. Martin, 
95. That double top to win the third leg. First time Martin Adams had hit double 20 in five attempts. For some reason, it's not a double he likes. 25. And that won't sit too well with John Boy Walton either. It's his first bounce out of the match, though. 41. England Masters champion John Boy Walton in 2010. 60. I think that's where his dart landed after the bounce out. Or the flight part, anyway. 78. That was actually in uh, my own town, that, the English Masters, where he won that, John. Was it? In Stockport? Uh, Edgeley Park, football ground, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the home of quality sports. It's football included in that. 140. <laughs> they still play rugby there, don't they? Yeah, so she are still there. <laughs> They're not doing too, too well this year. <laughs> but um, yeah, John won that at Edgeley Park. He actually beat me and Daryl on the way, I think, to that time as well. Did he, did he get out without 136. too many problems? No, he's got a lot of friends in Stockport, John. <laughs> <laughs> 136. He's not going to get a chance again because he strayed into that treble five. You picked it up quite early that. The odd dart was straying into the fives. Only just, but enough. 54. Luckily for him on this occasion, Martin Adams, long way behind. 60. John, you require 82. So should go for bullseye first here, and does. Perfect dart. Double 16 now. 15. Martin That's the risk with that one, isn't it? You do the hard work 27. with a bullseye and you relax too much. Can Adams finish on the bullseye? Not on this occasion. Oh, he's got a chance, he's got away with it again, John. 87. Double 16. John, you require 32. To bring us back all level again. Game shot, and the fourth leg, John Walton. Fifth leg, well it's Martin to throw first, well done. game on. And even Martin Adams saying well done before giving it the come on. Now, I know it's first to four sets. 85. But if Walton can nick this one, Tony, it probably comes the most vital leg of the match. He can just break the throw. 100. And is that what he's got to think to himself here? Well, if, if he was to lose this, I mean, he'd probably feel a little cheated because it, it seems as if he's played a lot better. But John's just stuck in there, kept with it. 81. But Walton, just ahead on the opportunities he's had to check out here. Adams is buying himself more time, but he's missing more doubles in the process. 100. 100. So Walton, 301 against the dart. So 140 here would have been sensational for him. But it's just 100. steady tons. Three of them in a row. His next three are going to be the important ones. If he can set it up, just builds pressure on Martin. 100. Who's only hit a ton on that visit. And 135 isn't the easiest finish in the world. Uh, you, you can go 25 treble 20 bullseye, but you've run the risk of blocking. Martin, you require 135. Let's see. And he's hit the bullseye first. That hasn't made it really any easier for him at all. Misses on the treble 15, so Walton will have the opportunity. What a massive leg this is. He's blinking away under the lights now. 
needs. 81. And he did know, Tony. He knew how important it was. But Adams is still going to take this out. Oh, this is what you've been doing, scoring well, and just, just missing your double. Double 16 for the set. He's got it! He holds his throw! They've all held their throw! Who's going to crack first? So far, no one has. First set, Walton hit back. Adams took the third set. Walton hit back. Adams took the fifth set. And it's two all in the sixth as we join it. One hundred and forty. Sixty. And at the business end of the sixth set, that is a quality looking average chart, isn't it? And Walton just getting higher and higher. One hundred and forty. You'd be proud of that, Tony, wouldn't you? Nowhere near that yesterday, mate. I've seen you get very near it and probably above it in the past, though. 60. But to average in the mid 90s in such a tense situation. Well, to be honest, he's been under pressure the whole match. Yeah. 140. And that 140 actually sticks him ahead in the averages for the first time as well. I just wonder what this is doing to Martin Adams. These last couple of legs. 100. Yeah, mentally, 81. where's Adams going here? Especially if Walton can take out this 81, which he needs double 12 to do and wrap up the set. 57. <laughs> and he'll be back. But can Adams put pressure on him? And the answer is, is a big fat no at the moment, Sony. 26. John, you require 24. How cool does Walton look? Game How cool shot. does that look? And the sixth set. John Walton. Has three legs on the bounce to win it back in a square and up. And Disney doesn't get more animated than John Boy Walton here. Both feeling the heat there, mate. I tell you what, he's at the howl as Martin Adams. Now he's reaching for the towel and he needs it. He'll not throw it in, though. Ebbed and flowed this game. Seven set. First the reaction of the crowd there, they wanted another first. set, didn't they? Game on. It is going to go down in the annals of Lakeside Classic. Historical matches. 100. Where were you on that bank holiday Monday in January when Adams and Walter met for the first time and unleashed a tungsten torrent on each other? 45. But what will that fight back do for Martin Adams here? You, you could see he was getting hot, maybe finding it uncomfortable, Tony, up on that stage. 64. You don't normally see Martin struggle like that, to be honest. He's normally a pretty cool character. So when the pressure's getting to Martin, you know it's tough up there. 43. And he shakes his head as he takes his darts out of the board there. You know, chuntering away to himself, which we do see. But he's, he's, not, he's not in a good place, is he? No, maybe he's watching John. I mean, I've never seen John look this cool anywhere. Even when he won it, when I mean, he, was, he was pretty dominant that year he won it. He didn't look as cool as he does now. Is that because he's got nothing to lose? Because there's no pressure on him at all. Exactly. Because everyone's expecting Adams to go marching through. Well, as I said at the beginning of the game, I think somebody made a comment that he had no chance whatsoever, and I think that hurt him. And he's answered him the right way. 95. If you're up there, you've always got a chance. You write anybody off in this championship at your peril. Mm -hmm. 
which is why I wouldn't even write off Martin Adams either. And I'm sure deep down she hasn't written off Hubby yet. Who at least has the advantage of the first throw in this set. Unless we go to sudden 96. death. And who's to say Martin, we won't? Martin, you require 98. Oh, single 20 for Martin Adams. 58. To leave that uh, you fearsome double top. Now, Walton here, nice line, the treble 20. He'll follow it in. With a wry shake of the head. Because even with these wires that are half the thickness of last year, he's still found Martin alongside. 40. Double top. He was stumbling forward. One from nine, he's hit on double top. 20. One from ten. John, you require 36. He's broke a few in his time, John. And this is probably the most important one he'll ever have. It's double nine. This isn't easy either. Is he scared of it? He looks cool. But where's the bottle? 18. It was pretty Martin blocked. Martin, you require 20. It's double five for Martin Adams. Oh, and he's blown it. That is just... 16. Shocking. Shocking from Adams. You don't expect it. John, you require 18. It's left Walton with a brilliant opportunity. I, I wonder if it's worth going two double eight. Not that he's hit double eight that much in the match. Or ten double four possibly. That's where he is going. It's a brilliant marker. He's got it! Shot and the first leg. John Walton. Oh, he said he looked cool and that was cool thinking that from John. Well... Self-motivational techniques, according to Second the Gospel of St. John. To throw first. Game on. Have a little chat after a little double. And scream and shout as much as you want. He needs to release some tension. Against the darts, Walton takes the lead in what will be the final set. And there, Martin Adams 60. has won 10 out of 14 on his first throw. And the same with Walton, losing four legs on his throw. But, you know, in the final set, 45. forget all about those previous stats, Tony. It's the now, isn't it? It's now and it's them doubles. I'm sure there's still another twist of turn left in this game. Ninety-five. What Walton needs is a sixth one eighty of the match, or a twenty-second ton forty of the match, or even a thirty-third ton at this stage. 60. All of which eluded him. So many big scores, but he could have really done with one there. Believe it or not, the door is open for Adams if he wants it. 60. Oh dear. Is the writing on the wall in her mind? One hundred. That's perfect. He's left bags of room. Fill him in. Fill him up! 180! What a time for a 180! Into the trenches and digging his way and fighting his way and Walton fighting with him. But can Adams now break back? Beautiful. Single 14. Is double 16 good to him? It loves him! Short and the second leg, Martin Adams! Oh! 
goal. Six darts of the highest order from Martin Adams. Third leg, it's Martin that to throw will first. Hurt. Game on. You're shaking your head in the commentary box, Tony O'Shea. I wish we had a camera on you at the moment. 60. What do you think of that? Oh, it's just amazing how you can pull a 106 kill out like that after struggling on all them other doubles. It's the reason we both love and hate this game, you know. 59. It's the reason why he, he found something in him to become a three-time master, a two-time champion, because five, six years ago, you, you wouldn't have put anything on Martin Adams getting that. 140. But however bad it looks, he, he never stops believing in himself now. He digs himself out. 81. Goal level again. And back with throw. 100. 'm pretty in a nice position even if Walton does stick a 180 in here 100 100 Great last down yeah 12 darts 400 scored. It's the perfect solid leg to hold your throat. 100. Martin, you require 101. Just the 101 to finish it off. A 9 double 16, which looks the most beautiful double in the world if you're Martin Adams. Game shot. And the third leg, Martin Adams. It's like a playboy calendar for him for the month of January. A gorgeous Fourth little leg. bit it's of dartboard first. Game on. That's seen him take a 106 and a 101 checkout. Yeah. 140. So once again, Walton throwing to stay in the match. Well, he survived so far. 140. That's a good answer. That's a Is that the moment? Is that the next twist? 100. Because turning up the heat, Adams 100. manages a treble, manages to get 40 odd in front. 120. So and that is a save worthy of Gordon Banks. 100. Who, by the way, was a very good goalkeeper in his time. When these two 85. wore short trousers. Walton 49, Adams 54. I'm not sure if Gordon Banks was either of their heroes. 100. It's from that save, you know, Tony he's one, taking one, control one. of the leg again here, Tony. So, yeah, we're going for the 16 to leave the bullseye. Well, we've seen him do this earlier in the match. Game and he's done it again! And the fourth leg! Never say never. Hey, on this deja vu for Yorkshire! Hey, up the nose. <laughs> oh, Ladies and gentlemen, dear. with the score three sets all and two legs all, we move into the tie break. Well, Fifth leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. I think he enjoyed that. I tell it, if Martin Adams wants to kiss double 16, 
That little deflection there is the snog of the century for John Boy Walton. Because it was a beautiful deflection and into the bullseye. And to remind you, you've got to win the final set by two clear legs. So whoever wins this one is going to have to do the next if they want to march on. And here it is, that little kiss from barrel to bull. Meanwhile, back on the scoring, Martin Adams puts in his 20th 140 of the match. One and look at this. I, I just marvel at this. Both players so close on the averages. Such a high standard from the first nine down to the finishing as well, Tony. In only a second round match at the World Championship. 100. You know, someone's got to lose, but there is consolation for the defeated. It is a shame one of these guys is going 140. on. 140. Martin Uriquois, 161. Never threatened it with that one. Eighty seven. 87. John Uriquois, 161. So might relax just a touch more. Maybe relax too much. They're both in the treble five. 47. Martin, you require 74. And that's lovely for him because it avoids tops, takes him to double 16. Missed one. Missed two. 22. That was a deflection as well, I think. John Uriquois, 114. It's the dart was hanging across the double, wasn't it, from that first missed attempt. He has taken out some finishes here, Walton, but just when we think maybe there's another one in store. 78. He blows it at the first attempt. Double eight. Yes. Game shot and the fifth leg. Martin Adams. Adams in front again. It's time for Walton to, to throw first. Pull up his sleeves. And get stuck in. Well, I think John's getting used to it. One. Great last down. Like a battered cod, John Walton. Adams trying to reel him in. 140. But as bruised as he is, this man, he still has a few more blows left in him. 60. Needs something massive here, doesn't he, Walton? 96. Switch half help, but I just don't think that's enough. 100. Oh, he's pinched the dash back now, and now he's got a lead. 100. He's forcing Walton to up his ante. <laughs> up, he's nearly going to hit the ceiling if this one goes in. Just checking, 125 left. Yeah. <laughs> 108! Wow. 65 left. Martin, you require 161. <laughs> 99. John Uriquois, oh. 65. Just at the right time. Along it came. It's offered Walton a chance to save again. Double top. Beautiful. Game shot. And the sixth man, John Walton. Wow. 
well, well, well. Seventh place. She can Martin barely believe what Game Walton off. is doing here. Surely his best performance since he lifted the trophy in 2001. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, but it looks like John Boy's back. Martin Adams just cannot say goodnight to John Boy Walton. 85. What a performance it's been. And there's still room for the You almost get the feeling that Walton doesn't mind Adams throwing first in this final set. He's enjoying this role of the underdog, enjoying the fight back. 100. I can't get over how cool John looks. Barely broken sweat. At once during the whole match. 100. Martin, you require 136. He's going to be facing himself at. Leg down again if Adams can hit treble 20 and double eight here. Even if he can't, Adams will still return. 96. But he wants tops. I wonder why he left it. What's the stats? One out of ten on double top in the match for him. It's either 17. the mark of a confident man or Martin, you require the mark of a man who had no other option. One out of 11, on to double 10 we go. Up to double five we go, and he pulled it massively last time. 30. And that was a much better attempt, John, but... you require 146. With all his great finishes in this match, Walton still hasn't checked out above 95. This would be a good time to do it then. It wouldn't be bad, he, he really should just follow that in, shouldn't it's he? Such a good day, he should stay with it. But he switched. 98. Martin, you require We'll 10. never know. We'll never know. Adams, double five. Yeah. Game shot and the seventh play. Martin Adams. He's still not giving much away, Adams. Eighth play. Oh, it's the two. to throw first. Game on. You can tell who the younger man is up there, can't you? Because physically, Adams is looking like he's been through the ringer here. 99. <laughs> 85. Only 60. Sixty. Only sixty again. Do you get the feeling looking at Martin Sun Warren there, Tony, that he rather sensed his old man missed an opportunity? One hundred and five. We're living every day out with him in. One hundred and forty. Well, that's quite comfortable living. If they're sharing it with him, the one forty. Nice. That's bad luck on Walton. He, by hitting the one oh five in his previous dart, they're trying to make things a bit easy for himself, and now finds himself via a deflection on one four two, which he wouldn't have fancied really. One hundred. John, you require 142. 42. And this time it is right to uh, switch. 56. Martin, you require Only 56, Adams. Remember, wants this leg for the match. 
treble 20 would leave double 18. But he's going to keep us waiting. Just that little bit longer and that was a good last start. John Uricora, 86. It's about time the pressure did tell on him. Not on him though, is it? Now, another big moment. <laughs> it's yeah, another shot. big moment. And the only one that rises to. He never thought he was going to miss. It's like he's on a piece of elastic every time the wolf kicks him. He comes springing straight back Ninth again. Leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. It's a three leg match now. <laughs> Just like those matches in the pairs at the European Cup where they've won so often. 140. Those short format games. <laughs> but what great drama we've had to get to this stage. Just like a pesky fly that he can't swat away. Martin Adams. Everything he throws at John Boy Walton just isn't enough. 81. <laughs> 140. Sandy, because the one thing Walton hasn't done is put pressure on Adam's throw, really, in this set. And I, I wonder, Tony, if we now see that bit of pressure. And what a time it would be to do it. Anything over the tunnel is going to keep more pressure on Martin. There's the one treble. One hundred. Um, that'll do. Reaching for the white towel. But no thoughts of surrender on General Adams' shoulders. As he counted, he Nine hasn't counted. Five. What's he done, Tony? He's not left to finish. Single 19 would have done. But Walter might make it completely irrelevant. Oh, dear. But now it is very relevant what Martin Adams had just done there. And it's understandable after such a long time on the hockey. 64. Mentally, these are layers creeping. Mentally tired. Ninety-seven. An hour and a half we've John been playing Yuri here at the lakeside. John's made this harder than it should have been, really. That, that single one. Still only a two dart checkout. Or oh, could have been. Still needs a treble. Yep. 20 for tops. 57. If he comes Martin back. requires 62. Two darts at double 16. Now he doesn't normally miss. Normality restored and resumed. Martin Adams. I think he deserves to go to the last leg this game. Game on. Ever since the third leg of this final set, it has gone with the throw. 100. We're now into the tenth leg of this final set. And between them, these two have thrown over a thousand darts in the hour and a half they've been on stage. And amazingly, that's only the second one that Walton's thrown that's bounced out of the ball. 18. And it was only sticking in the one anyway, so we won't mind too much. Fifty-five. Oh, 
treble would be so handy for the defending champion here. 100. Just keeps him in touch, Tony, doesn't it? This is one you've got to be careful. You can end up not leaving yourself a finish here. Nine but well counted, John Boy Walton. And interestingly, he leaves himself for 170. Which, between a 167 or a 170, this is the better finish. Well, you've got two darts at the same 85. target to start off with. John and now that one does make a difference. 70. <laughs> and that one makes a difference. And that one makes a difference, and he wants bullseye for 170. Oh! 134. Eighty-five. John, you require thirty-six. Double eighteen. Yes. Game shot and the tenth leg. John Walton. We are going to sudden death. And as a very good mate of mine would say at this moment, Ladies and gentlemen, it really is all happening here. Both players will now throw for the ball. It'll be Martin to throw for the ball first. And I wish he was sat alongside me to witness it as well. But I'm sure, Tony, you're loving it back at home. That's we throw 25. for the ball. If Walton can hit the bullseye that he missed on the 170, he starts the final leg. And is she packing her bags? That's also the She might want to stay for a bit It'll more. Now John to throw for the ball. Yeah. That's the beautiful. Time. A thousand nods of approval. The 25. And a thousand and one cries of anguish because Walton Eleven gets first throw. Leg. It's John to throw first. Game on. Brilliant Thank order. You. The crowd wanting to play their part as two players have played their part in an absolute classic. 100. Antonio Shea. With the darts, Walton has lost one more leg than Martin Adams. And I'm going to ask you the whole, most horrible question in the world. Who's your money on? 40. The winner. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's all bottle. It's all bottle from now. And I wonder 45. if the milk float has turned up for Adams. Has he got the biggest bottle? Sixty. Sixty. Or has Walton's wine cellar got a bottle that's been corked? Because there's a whiff about his last two throws. And the sweet smell of success is going Adams away at the moment. But Walton is a cracking vintage. 125. Martin, you require one. And all that last start could be key. Big deflection again there. That's three or four he's out of them. And it's given Adam six darts at this 161. 100. And that hurts. That last dart hurts if you're John Boy Walton. Sixty. Martin, you require 61. He's not thrown a dart for the match yet. He now has two for it. 
And the match. What a game Not of tennis! As Walton and Adams roll back the years. And never have they played a more gripping and enthralling set of darts than the one we've just seen to end a classic. Walton's on his knees and he's not the only one. Such a shame, it didn't deserve a lose of that game. That'll give John so much confidence for the rest of the year, it's unbelievable. Take a bow, John Boy Walton. And Martin Adams, you have had your nervy moments this year already, but at least you're still in. It is good night, John Boy. Ladies and gentlemen. For the world champion. Got a 